Hello. Sometimes different web apps allow users to click different key bindings on their keyboards, if they're using keyboards, to access features faster. For example, now I'm on the GitHub website, and if I type slash to search, you see a model pops uh, up. So this is faster than sometimes clicking with the mouse or with the touchpad. There is a similar behavior on Delvin CSS website. You see there is this uh, key binding command K or control K to open the quick search. So I will click com command K and you see the quick search has opened. And I would like to add similar behavior to the super rails website. You see here I have this uh, quick search and I would be able to click some kind of key binding to open it. Well, I made a small research on different JS libraries, how I can achieve this kind of key bindings. So I found this uh, nice article on boring rails and it uh, uh, showcases a few different uh, approaches, a few different libraries to add in uh, hotkeys to a Ruby Rails application. Well, basically, I had a look at them and uh, thought that uh, all these use cases uh, seem to be quite overkill for what I want to achieve. And maybe we can do it on our own using just stimulus.js and 15 lines of JavaScript. So here is my final result, what I managed to do. You see, I have uh, a few different links. I have uh, this quick search, and if I click Command K, I open the quick search. If I click Command U, I open playlists, Command B, categories, Command V, lessons. And uh, it is really easy to do using just a few lines of stimulus, and you would not depend on an external JS library. So let's try to do it together and go through my solution. I will uh, check out the main, git check out main. On this branch, I still don't have this uh, implemented. So uh, let's just have a look. You see it's just the app. I don't have all these hotkeys implemented. I click command K and nothing happens. And let's add a hotkeys controller. So I will say uh, rails generate stimulus and I will name it hotkeys. Let them start the server and navigate to hotkeys controller. Here it is, it has, it has just been generated. And now what do I want to do? I want to be able to assign different uh, key bindings to a few links on my app. And uh, uh, usually it's going to be command plus some kind of uh, uh, key on the keyboard. And uh, whenever this key binding is clicked, we are going to click on uh, one of these links. So we're going to add an event listener. I will say document dot add event listener. I will name it key down because we are looking for when a user clicks on the keyboard. And I will say this dot handle uh, key down dot bind this. Now I'm uh, whenever I add an event listener, I will also remove the event listener. So I will have I disconnect and here I will say remove event listener and uh, I will now add this uh, action so handle key down handle key down and I will pass in the event in the params and now let's see uh, can we track all the key uh, keys that a user clicks on his keyboard let's try to check I will say console.log event.key and let's add this uh, stimulus controller to the body tag of our application. So here I have the body tag. Now let's go to the application. I will refresh the page, go to inspect, open the console and uh, click on a few buttons. And you see, when I click uh, different buttons, they are uh, shown up in the console. And the command button in the uh, mark is named meta. So uh, this kind of works. Now uh, we can track that we click different buttons, but we want to track if uh, we have explicitly clicked uh, the control or command uh, button. So let's see, uh, let uh, press uh, control equals event dot uh, meta key or event dot control key. And let's check if this key has been pressed. So let console log pressed control. Uh, now I'm clicking different buttons and it says false, but now when I click command or control, it 
says true. Okay, uh, let's now uh, have another thing. So we've got let press control and let uh, uh, pressed key equals event dot key. So we're always going to use a key binding of control plus a different key. And uh, we're going to continue only if uh, control has been clicked. So I will say uh, if uh, pressed control, then we're going to already try to look for a button with a key that has been clicked. So we would want to assign uh, some kind of keys to different buttons in our application. Here in the navbar, I have a few links and I would like to assign them uh, uh, different uh, hotkeys. So I would also want to assign them targets inside this hotkeys controller. I would say that these targets will have links or buttons. I will say static targets equals button. So this controller is going to have different button targets. And on one of these, I will say uh, data uh, hotkeys uh, target equals button and uh, data hotkey equals, uh, for example, K. Okay, and uh, let's go back. And uh, now, if control has been pressed, we're going to try to look at all the hotkey targets in our application and uh, find one that has the letter K. So I will say let uh, uh, button or let's say uh, button target uh, equals this dot uh, button targets. So all the button targets that are present in the stimulus controller because there can be many. Uh, dot find uh, element and uh, I will say element dot data set dot uh, uh, hotkey equals uh, pressed key. So we're going to find uh, a button target where the hotkey, uh, this hotkey equals to the key that has been pressed. And if we find it, let's uh, uh, log it in the console. So I will say console.log button target. Let's see if uh, this works. I will uh, click around, it is false. I will click command K and you see we have this uh, element pop up. Let's try adding another target. I will uh, copy this data attributes to another link and on it I will say the hotkey will be uh, V for example, K and V. So uh, I click command uh, K and command V and you see it finds different uh, elements. So looks good. And uh, now we're going to click this uh, click button if we found one. So let's say if button target exists then we're going to say uh, event dot prevent default. Uh, then we're going to say button target dot uh, click. Let's see if it works. So uh, I remember we had one with V and one with K. And you see now I'm just using the keyboard to navigate between playlists and categories. Uh, kind of works. We can also add uh, some kind of uh, focus. I would say button target dot focus before clicking. Or let's try just focus, just for an example. V and K, you see the elements are being uh, focused. So we can do both focus and click. And we need to prevent default because uh, we want to prevent the default uh, combinations that can be uh, used by the browser. There are just a few keys that I noticed that uh, are safe to use uh, on uh, both Safari and Firefox uh, and uh, these are uh, V, uh, yeah the keys V, K, U and uh, B is more or less safe I guess. So uh, I think this is uh, more or less it. Now I can add uh, the same uh, hotkeys target to other elements. For example, I can uh, add, make this one work with U. Let 
can say u equals this one, v equals this one, and I'm going to add it to the quick search also. So uh, I have the quick search in the search form. And uh, yeah, I was trying previously with access key, it didn't work. So here I will say uh, data hotkeys target uh, button, hotkey will be K. I'm going to, yeah, I already removed K from here. Let's uh, see if it works. I will refresh, I will click command K and you see the model popped up. And now I can just add some additional styling to uh, have this uh, prompt visible here. The same as on the Telvin CSS website. So why don't I just go to inspect what they've got here. Um, let's see. So uh, let me just copy this element. Uh, go back to my app and see if it looks good in my app. So yeah, looks uh, actually quite nice. You see, I just copied this element and uh, possibly I don't have to reinvent the wheel with CSS this time. So you see, it kind of works. I click uh, uh, Command K, I open the model. Escape, I close the model. V, I open categories. U, I open playlists. And that's basically it. You see in just, uh, I don't know, 25 lines of JavaScript, we created hotkeys uh, that can be used globally in our application. So thanks for being with me and see you in the next one.